Hi everyone, it's Angela and today we're going to be talking about how mass and volume are related. Now, from Jay, we learned that volume is proportional to length times width times height. This is different than the equality though. So, for example, the volume of a pyramid is equal to one-third times length times width times height. But today, we're focusing on mass and volume. Now, mass depends on two things, the volume and the density. So, mass is equal to the density times the volume. Now, density is defined as the mass per unit volume. And, in, and for determining the units, we know that a common unit for mass is grams. A common unit for volume is milliliters. Therefore, the units for density would be grams per milliliter. Another common unit is kilogram per meter cubed, but we're going to be focusing on gram per milliliter because that is the problem we have on hand. Now, mass and volume are directly proportional. So if you double the mass, you can double the volume. This is the same for mass and density. Doubling the density is doubling the mass. And so you can create a proportionality expression from this. So mass is proportional to the density times the volume. This is the equation that we will be using to solve our problem. So let's go to it. This is the problem found in your pre-Tuesday workshop and I'll be highlighting the important information as I read. In Las Vegas, you can buy pieces of gold in the exact shape of the Great Pyramids. The density of gold making up these replicas is 20 grams per milliliter, and the, and the density of the limestone making up the Great Pyramids is 2 grams per milliliter. If the height of the original pyramids is 14,420 times that of the replicas, and the mass of said replicas is 20 grams, what is the mass of the Great Pyramids? So we have mass, we have density, so we're definitely using our proportionality expression that was written last. So let's create our proportionality setup. I'm going to put replicas on top, original on the right below it, and on the very bottom, the factor line. And then right in the middle, we're going to be putting our proportionality expression in which mass is proportional to density times the volume. Now let's input the information that we know. The density of gold is 20 grams per milliliter, and that's what's making up the replica. The density of limestone is 2 grams per milliliter, and that's in the original. We also know that the mass of the replicas is 20 grams. However, we have left a factor for height and nowhere to put it. This is where we use the information, the information learned before, in which volume is proportional to length times width times height. And we can use this because the objects in this problem are the same. They're both pyramids. So I've drawn up a semicolon and wrote it to the right. And now we have space to write our factor for height. When we're dealing with the same shape, the factor for one length is the same factor for the other two. So the factor for height is the same factor for length and width. And I'll be writing that below. And now we have all the components to find the factor for volume. I'll write an equal sign because the factor line always has an equal sign. And thus, if you multiply this out, the factor for volume is 3 times 10 to the 12th. 
And so we can carry that over to the left most equation. And now we can solve for the factor for density. If you take the original density divided by the replica density, you will get the factor is 1 tenth. Now we have both of the components needed to solve for the factor for mass. Our factor for volume is 3 times 10 to the 12th, or 3 times 12 tens. If you're dividing by 1 ten, you have 11. So our factor for mass is 3 times 10 to the 11th. Now we have all the aspects needed to solve for our original mass. So let's take 20 grams, multiply by the factor, and we'll find that the mass of the original Great Pyramids is 6 times 10 to the 12th grams. Or in kilograms, this is 6 times 10 to the 9th. All right, that is our video for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.